here is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. So, you're wondering what is happening in pot 2. You've put in water. You've put in fertilizer and nutrients. But why is this plant not growing? Do you know what the reason could be? Let me explain it to you. It depends upon the soil in the pot. Did you know the growth of plants depends upon four things? Okay, don't worry. Let me tell you. They are the amount of sunlight, availability of water, availability of air, and the amount of nutrients. So now you know four important requirements for plants to grow. But do you know soil is also responsible for points two, three, and four? Okay, so let's learn why soil plays a very important role for plant growth, or how why the plant in pot one is growing and the plant in pot two is not growing is linked to the soil in the pots. So, there are two different types of soils in these two pots. The soil in pot one is good for plant growth, and the soil in pot two is not good for plant growth. The soil in pot one helps plants to get water, nutrients, and air. But in pot two, the soil is not good for these three things. But let me first explain the different types of soils. Do you know different types of soils? Okay, there are three types of soils. Clay, sandy, and loam. You see these three jars? All of these jars have different types of soils. Let us learn about these three types. The first one is clay. The soil particles are very small and very close to each other. There is some space in between particles and it can hold a lot of water, but very little air. Let's put some water in each jar. Now, take soil from jar number one into your hand. Grab it in your hand tightly. Now, open your hand. See how the clay soil holds itself tightly and doesn't break? So, it is tightly packed and holds the water. Now, see jar two. It is sandy soil. Its particles are bigger in size and further away from each other. There is a lot of space among particles. Water passes through these pores and does not stay in this soil for very long. Now, take some soil in your hand from this jar. Try to form a ball. Now, open your hand. See? It crumbles. It does not hold any water. So for plants, it is not good. In deserts, very few plants are able to grow due to this reason. Now, this soil in jar number three is loam soil. It is a mixture of sand and clay soil. It is best for plants, as it holds water, air, and nutrients very well. Now try to make a ball from this soil. It crumbles, but it still holds together. So now you understand three types of soils. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <coughs> it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.